who was Sir Jagodish Chandra Bose, or who was yeah. Jagodish Chandra Bose, J. C. Bose? Yeah, so J. C. Bose uh, discovered Bose Einstein condensation. <laughs> That's, that's that's the, the other Bose. That's the other Bose. That's common wow. conception in the Western. Okay. In the, 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 the there was only one Bose. In the Western world, people know uh, Satyendranath Bose. Mm. Okay, or, or, or people in the West often call him Satyan Bose. So Satyan Bose is famous because of bosons and fermions, and half of the universe is bosons. But we are talking about a little bit older Bose. This is Jagadish Chandra Bose. Isaac, can you tell me who was Jagadish Chandra Bose? Or rather we should say... So Jagadish Chandra Bose was a late 19th century, early 20th century scientist who had two uh, main contributions to science. First of all, he essentially was the father of botany in that he invented a device that showed that plants had similar reactions to external stimuli as animals and that plants had similar cell compositions to animals. And second, he, in physics, which is what we're going to talk about today, he invented several parts that would be used in the modern day radio. And unlike Marconi, who did similar things, he got no credit for it. Marconi won the Nobel Prize for the work done by um, yeah. Jabodi Chandra Bose. The Indian Golden Age started around, I guess, 400 to 500 AD and continued for one or 200 years until the foreigners invaded. The Indian Dark Age continued for centuries and centuries on. In terms of scientific and literary contributions and the average quality of life, things took a downturn until around the 18th century, when the British colonized India. The quality of life was still going down, but at least the British were now constructing critical infrastructure, railroads, schools, new housing units, and part of it was just devoted to the colonists, but part of it was actually usable by the people living there. And so they were able to slowly get their scientific equipment working again, and that stimulated a second golden age. The second golden age is started by Bengalis, Bengalis by Rabindranath Tagore in, in the field of literature and then Jagadish Chandra Bosu and Satyan Bos in the in the science and in the math was it Ramanujan? Yes. Because he worked with Hardy so he must he must have been uh, he, he died before but of the, course they didn't work in the same areas. Jagadish Chandra Bos did a lot of his work he got the highest civilian award in 1903, so 20 years earlier. Uh, Jagadish Chandra Bose, Jagadish Chandra Bose was not a mathematician. Well, he he, he was good in math, but he yeah, was, but he was a physicist. And yeah. science in general is what we talk about when we say the Indian Golden Age. Not just science, but literature and art. And you know, I think Tagore was also an early contributor that came earlier than. Yeah, I mean, he was born in 1860 or 1861, which is 40 years before Ramanujan was. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so Ramanujan was around that time. Did Ramanujan die before India got independence? Oh, he died very young, right? He died 30 years old? Yes. He died in 1920. Oh, wow. Which m means, yeah. Wow, wow. He died it's 30 years before. Seven him. years, seven years after uh, Tagore won the Nobel Prize. All right, okay, so, uh, great. Um, all right, so this this uh, Indian Golden Age um, uh, got back uh, by these people, uh, especially Tagore, uh, Ramanujan, um, Satyan Bose, and Jagadish Chandra Bose, Prapulorai. Six centuries, seven centuries in India. India was the, that that was the Golden Age of India. Uh, the the zero was invented. The decimal system was invented. Lots of good thing happening. Six centuries, seven centuries. Come eight centuries, uh, India uh, lost its golden age because the foreign in, uh, uh, invasion. And that uh, dark age lasted about uh, 1,000 years uh, until 1850 or 1858. Not 1858, yeah, something like that. Sarjab 1857. Yeah. Uh, coincidentally, that date coincides with the date that the British decided to directly take over um, charge of India. So instead of a company ruling India and squeezing out as much money as possible, after a certain rebellion took place, the crown themselves took charge of India instead of leasing it out to a company. And um, although 
they kept exploiting the people, they also decided to build new schools, universities, infrastructure, which greatly helped spark another scientific revolution. Yeah, speaking of uh, universities, uh, the India had the world oldest university called Nalonda University, but when uh, invaders came invade India, they destroyed it. So 1000 years, no, no university was built. Then when British took over, they built the first university. And can you tell me, Rav, what was the name? What is the name of the first university, Indian University? I think it was an IIT. <laughs> no. no. IITs were commissioned by the Indian government in, I think, 1960 or something. Yes. Oh, was it Kolkata University? Yes, University of Calcutta. Okay, now, Sir Jagadish Chandra Bosu was one of the leading founding father of Bengali Renaissance. All right, so Golden Age of India uh, revived with Sir, uh, Sir Jagadish Chandra Bosu, Rabindranath Tagore, so, so just to be clear, we're not doing real analysis today. We are not doing real analysis. We are doing physics. Hmm. Okay. So now, what did Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose do? He invented radio. While he, while he invented something called LC circuit. Can you give us some idea of a, re a regular circuit? Ref, what is the regular circuit? Well, I mean, a regular well, circuit is... Okay. Oh, Ref, Ref. Yeah. Okay. So... A regular circuit has a battery and it has a resistor. Can you draw a regular circuit? Three of our circuit and the That's battery. Not how we draw a circuit? Why you draw it okay. like that? Okay. The battery is yeah. four lines. One, two, three. Okay. No, no, four lines. People draw it as two lines. You oh, know okay, that, sure, right? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, well, let's, oh, oh. let's come on. Uh, Isaac, uh, uh, you okay. get ready to draw a circuit. Um, so. Here's the uh, battery, and then the battery powers the electrons to go through the circuit. And you have a resistor. Can resistance. you write R? And you have current. Current moves from positive terminal to negative terminal. You did not show the positive terminal. Great. So this is so Ohm's law. Can you write that now? Ohm's law. But LC circuit doesn't follow the Ohm's law. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is the uh, this is the regular circuit. It over the Ohm's law, VIR. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Great. Now, uh, Isaac is going to now uh, draw the LC circuit. Wait, no, 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 no. You have to draw the inductor. Well, yeah. yeah, of course. Everything is the same, except that is not a resistor. In fact, sure. the, an LC circuit is supposed to have as little resistance as possible. Mm -hmm. That goes mainly against the goal, which is to produce a certain frequency. What this is instead is an inductor and a capacitor. So Isaac, but you have to draw them uh, separately. No, Isaac. Draw them separately. Isaac, inductor and capacitor. You have to have like two plate, positive and negative, yeah. and you have to have a. Sure. So you have to have the inductor separate from the capacitor. How about that? That's just okay. a capacitor. No, you have to write plus, 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 minus, 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 minus. Electric field comes from positive to negative. That sounds like just a capacitor. Yeah, capacitor and then inductor. So where's the inductor? So the, uh, this is what the inductor looks like. This is what the capacitor looks oh, okay. like. Yeah, you're right. So this is the LC circuit. And the... This is the equation, and the other equation is okay. Hey, circuit. Who invented current, by the way? Ampere. Okay, very good. Ampere uh, invented. It's pronounced current. ampere. Isaac, Isaac, what country mm -hmm. ampere came from? Um, I believe France. Very good. Uh, Ref. Okay. Now resistance. Resistance. Who discovered resistance? Uh, ohms. Ohms. Uh, uh, Isaac, what country Ohms came from? I'm going to guess uh, 